Jeremy Whalen is with us. He's the uh, chairman of Test Pack. The website is testpackpleaseignore.org. Uh, you probably won't recognize him, but when producer, when TV director Natan was on vacation, Jeremy was also our interim TV director. So it's good to see him. What is Test Pack, Jeremy? So Test Pack is basically uh, the antithesis of a traditional political action committee. Uh, Test Pack is a non-connected political action committee uh, that is dedicated to recruiting members uh, to be a voting body. Uh, what happens is we get, typically get donations on average of between five and a hundred dollars uh, and after that members register for the site and vote on uh, important issues, what they would like to see us target, uh, candidates to target, uh, legislation to target, um, and just general concerns of, uh, of the body. Okay, and then one of your first operations was Operation Pull Ryan. Uh, explain that because that was a huge success. Yeah, so the great thing about, uh, so we're a Reddit-based Reddit -based pack, and the great thing about uh, Reddit is the fact that one person's voice can multiply so fast and have such an impact uh, globally, nationally. Um, and so basically what Operation Pull Ryan was, uh, was a counter to the Stop Online Piracy Act. There was a growing concern online of uh, protecting the freedoms of uh, Americans. Uh, Stop Online Piracy Act uh, threatened to block certain sites uh, based, on, uh, based on copyright infringement. So what happened was uh, a Redditor started a thread and they said, hey, we should target a candidate and really uh, go to town on them uh, in regards to donations uh, and really make them take a stance on uh, SOPA. So what happened was in the first 48 hours of uh, Operation Paul Ryan, Rob Zerbin, uh, Paul Ryan's opponent, uh, netted uh, somewhere in the ballpark of $15,000 in the first 48 hours. Uh, and leading, for, that type uh, of for, that, for that size race, that's a significant amount of money, right? Yeah, it actually, uh, it totally uh, was unexpected by Rob Zerbin, and uh, it actually forced uh, Paul Ryan to come out and explicitly state his opposi opposition against SOPA. That's incredible. So um, are, are, what's the ultimate goal here with Test Pack? I mean, is it to get rid of politicians who don't understand the Internet? Is that kind of like the underlying thread? Or what, what's the goal? Are you targeting other specific candidates or, or races right now? So right now we're in the initial phases of establishment. So what we're going to be doing is having a general vote to decide what campaigns we want to focus on. Uh, in the past, it was uh, the boycotting of GoDaddy, uh, as we mentioned before, Operation Pull Ryan. Um, so it, it's really up to the, the voting uh, body of Test Pack to decide these things. Um, and then uh, as chairman and the other, with, with the help of the other officers, uh, we will, uh, you know, um, act upon the the, uh, the will of the people. Fascinating. And and can uh, is anything any, any issue on the table? If you know, if producer Lewis, for example, has a big uh, heavy metal related gripe with Republican senators in Texas, for example, is that something he can pursue if he can convince your constituents that that's the will of the people? You know what? I encourage Lou to uh, sign on to testpackpleaseignore.org. Uh, voice his. Uh, uh, Put that up for discussion, and I'm, I'm sure that if that's what the people want, that's what the people will get. Yeah, I mean, you know, poor guy. He's got to get someone to support the heavy metal community, if nothing else. I mean, you should see what's happening at these Krakatoa shows. It's incredible. Yeah, I can, I can only imagine. All right, so the website, again, is testpackpleaseignore.org. We've been speaking with Jeremy Whalen. He's the chairman. Uh, this is fantastic, Jeremy. Congratulations on the early success, and, and best of luck. Keep us posted. Thanks, Dave, and I believe it's your birthday today, so uh, happy birthday. All right, thanks.